everyone, my name's Holly. I'm a targeted individual from Perth, Australia. First off, I'd like to say hello to all my long-term targeted friends from the Monica Mind Control Forum site. Jesse, Lars, Magnus, John, Darlene Davis, Debbie Newhook, um, uh, Wendy Newman, um, oh, so many, so many, um, and a lot of new good friends over the years. Um, this is my first video that I've done live, so to speak, and I am doing this because I have so much to share. We're putting it in words would take forever. Um, as a targeted individual, when I was first targeted and found the sites, all the information I was receiving was American-based. Um, whereas with my research over the last 10, close 15 years, um, I've narrowed it down for Australia, New Zealand and parts of Asia. Um, I have three files with me. Um, today I'm going to talk about one of the files. Um, this first file is for the Australian targets. Let's see three of these sort of folders that I've put together over the years. Lots of paperwork, but narrowed it down to three files. First up, it's Optus Satellite. Optus adds $19.5 million contract to Department of Defence. Now, what this is about is to get dibs on the Optus C1 satellite. From there, we have the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Public Works, a new laboratory complex at Disto Salisbury. Now, Disto Salisbury is an electronic and surveillance research lab in Australia. Then comes the theatre broadcast systems. Communication division, DISTOS, electronic and surveillance research lab, where that new lab was being built. Now this theatre broadcast systems is also known as Joint Projects 2065. Right, this Theatre Broadcast Systems, the Optus C1 Electronic and Surveillance Satellite is the Optus C1 and the bearings cover Australia, New Zealand and parts of Asia. But for me personally, the satellite bearings cover Katani, where I am currently living. From there, we move on to C31, US SATCOM Systems for Australia Defence. Now, this American SATCOM Systems, C31 Systems, is part and integrated with the Optus C1 satellite, also referred to as MIL SATCOM Joint Projects 2008. Now, this Netcentrix Joint Project 2008, it has referred to the never-ending story of Joint Projects 2008. The sprawling beast that is known as JP 2008 in all its phase is complicated to say the least. One phase is being managed as a project of concerns. Now, these projects of concerns 
well, we'll get to them. Now, for me personally, this next page is called Filling the Gap, and it's about Tom Worthington, who he is referred to as a network traveller. Now, the network traveller travels around Australia to make sure that all the infrastructure is in place in different towns. Now, in my case, it is called the Catanian Regional Tally Centre and its computers are set up. Now, these Pocket C31 handheld terminals work for robot surveillance aircraft and alternative applications to technology. Now, going back to where we were, American C31 US SATCOM systems for Australia Defence, that was put on the Optus C1, so it's also on ground floor in Katanning, my town. Then we get to the next paper, which is a Naval Postgraduate School. Now this is the efficiency of an IEE 802 16 based radio wide area network in supplementing satellite communications in an inter-battle group amphibious tactical network. That's a mouthful. What that more or less is, is with the MIL SATCOM 2008, it's land, sea and air. And air does mean cyber and it means terrestrial. But why I like this one is because the eight of the wireless IEE 802.16 is also the virtual surgeon's medical platform, which for myself, I'm a human guinea pig when it comes to medical. Now, this actual Naval Postgraduate 2008, uh, sorry, 802.16 base radio, it is the, the concept of the net centric warfare, which the net centric warfare is Joint Project 2008. Now, it's talking about seas, the net centric warfare concept for the 80216 wireless technology. Next paper I have is a presentation on the wireless body area networks. Now, the wireless body area network is your virtual surgeon. It's a, a wireless stay at home, go anywhere, the doctor is watching you 24 7. Now, the IEE wireless body area platforms come in an 80211, an 80215, an 80216. The reason I specifically wanted the 80216 is because the 80216 is the human in the loop. You're in the loop, which you can be on the computer, um, as well as your medical, but you've got to have the loop added into it for it to work in my case. My computer systems, my computer running system is, according to my printout of my computer, my computer is running the 80211 network. So that speaks for itself. So my computer's working on me while I'm sitting at it. Next page is a virtual doctor, a wireless body area network based architecture for healthcare services. Then my final one is a Edith Cohen University, which is in Perth, West Australia. And this is forensic readiness for a wireless body area network. So they're saying they're ready for me to hide what they have done to my insides. So family, anyone that wants to know, they can cover it pretty much. And, oh sorry, my last one, my last page in my first file, 
This is from the National Health and Medical Research Council, my last letter from them, advising me to take up my issues with Department of Defence. I have over the years written to the Australian Department of Defence. I have written to Australia Asia Department of Defence. I have written to their Medical Human Ethics Boards. I have written to two Prime Ministers. Um, no one wants to know. No one, no one will deal with you. They will pass you on to the next people. Um, the story is a lot bigger, as in those that are there, like the National Health and Medical Research Council. The funding that Australia receives for what I believe the targeting side on an up close and personal, whether it be medical, neuro, whatever, there's three, three Australian companies that receive uh, EU funding, and that is the National Health and Medical Research Council, it is ARC, the Australian Research Council, and it is the Australian Defence and it's Science and Research. And they are the ones doing it. Um, so anyway, that is my first folder. And I will do a second folder to follow. And then I have a third folder that is Katanning. And it pulls it all in together. Thank you. Bye.